Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com. I've got a great comment here from Jamie Byrne. Jamie's writing in on the video I did about Nikon best value, uh, best budget value DSLRs for shooting professionally. And he says, this is really subjective. You could shoot a wedding with two D90s or two 3100s. I have shot a wedding with two D90s back when they were the thing. Uh, why not? 10 years ago, photographers were using cameras inferior to today's cameras. Absolutely. What has changed in terms of the final image in 10 years, APS-C or full frame? Most people can't tell the difference in the final image, not even pros. Uh, I would agree with that. Low light, well, you need a flash anyway, so just put it off camera somehow. And I agree with that. Lighting equal is the great equalizer. It equalizes everything. Uh, I agree with two bodies. You could get a Sigma 17528, which is sharp and secondhand, maybe only $300, get an 85 prime. The old D version of the 85 is excellent. That's true. Uh, then one other telephoto lens. But you want to know something interesting? There is this guy in Seattle, one of the highest paid wedding photographers. He shoots medium format film. Only two lenses, even factoring in processing costs. That kit could be half the price of what you mentioned here. And look it up. It probably is half or less. Uh, and what do you get in the end? Not another guy with a DSLR, but something special or something different. What couple doesn't want something special? The gear is secondary to the skill and talent. So some really great points from Jamie here. Um, skill and talent is everything. I mean, you could shoot a wedding with any relatively modern DSLR out there. And when I say relatively modern, it could be five years old. I mean, a couple of Canon T2Is and some good glass I'm happy shooting with a, a wedding with. Um, it's, it's more these days the talent and skill of the photographer. Um, the camera, I mean, sure, certain things can assist you, but a good photographer can still use older gear, older lenses, and absolutely kill the work of somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. And Jamie's making a great point there. I also like his point about the guy that's creating a niche for himself, making his, himself unique in his choice of medium format and a couple of lenses. That's a, that's a good thing to do too. I mean, film's having a little uh, renaissance resurgence in the sense of it's trendy now for, for a lot of people, um, but not a bad thing, you know, especially if you want to cut a niche in today's extremely competitive photography market. What do you guys think? Um, do you agree with what Jamie says? Like, like, is that is there anything you disagree with what he says? Um, you know, I pretty much agree with everything he says. It's a great point or counterpoint, you know. Um, but let me know. What do you guys think? Leave some comments below. Let's discuss it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.